Hey, what's up, guys? It's Beach Beat Boy to Three Tim, and welcome to well a series that I do. If you guys don't know, on my other channel, Born to Three Tim Two, I do a series called Flashback Sundays, where I look in the past at the WWE and I look at great matches and uh, I play them out in in the video game. That's basically what I do, and uh, I'm gonna bring it on to this channel every Sunday. I will bring that to you guys and I uploaded the grab the follow uh gameplay early earlier today very early like 9 30 in the morning I don't know what the fuck I was thinking about that but anyways we're gonna get to a match uh give me time to think though how about Royal Rumble 2000 in Madison Square Garden Cactus Jack versus the game uh, no holds barred for the World Wrestling Federation Championship let's do this here we go The World Wrestling Federation title here at the Royal Rumble. Oh boy, we're in for a treat tonight. This may not Both be exactly up, to go. the uh, Royal Rumble pay per view, but it's very close. Right oh, Such fuck it, let's have fun. Yeah, hey, Cactus, happen? you're walking too slow, bro. Walking too slow. You can feel the the game. This is going to be some battle. And I'm legit looking at my uh on my laptop here. The best matches of the decade. Oh, nice clothesline there by the game. No kidding. Ooh, that's hurting me. Between 2000 and 2010. Let me get the hold on. Let me get in the ring though. Just so this match can begin. Uh, the game. Come here, cactus. Oh, sorry, ref. Come here. There you go. Cactus. I remember watching this in the Triple H DVD, you know, in 2002. That 2002 DVD. Yeah, I remember watching it, and this match was nasty. It was nasty ass. <laughs> like, you have no idea. Thumbtacks, Barbie. Everything was involved. Steel chairs to the head. 2000 was the hardcore of the the hardcore year for WWE. 999. It was 2000. There we go. Chant my name. Uh, Triple H. Shut up, I don't need your stupid chance. Uh, cactus, get up. I'm just whooping his ass right now. Cactus Jack, yo. This is easier than the Roy Rumble itself. Oh no! Cactus! Cactus, come on, man. This is this is a no hold barred match, okay? We need to have extreme shit. Yeah, and that's let's go to uh, our mystery un mystery box in the under the ring, and we got our trusty table. Table match. Cactus. I'm so not in the mood to do this. Oh. I'm not in the mood right now to do this with boys. Oh, God. Don't do a counter. There you go. Back suplex right on the sledgehammer. If I sound boring, like, seriously, I legit woke up, like, two hours ago, and... Yeah. I know. I went outside. I brushed my teeth and everything. I just don't feel like... I just don't feel like doing nothing today. The you don't have to go to work tomorrow, nice. but I, I, I just don't feel like doing shit. And when I upload a, a gameplay, I'm like, ah, it don't look, it's not doing well. The Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I think I'm overdoing it. I just love the game. I'm gonna share with you guys, you know, my experience of the of my past, you know, as well as your past, also. Oh, the game. Uh, come here. 
No, no, no. Come here, come here. Yeah, it's back to bucks. No! Ow. Hey, that's not nice. That's not nice, Cactus. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna have some fun. Okay. Remember, in championship Gotta get out of this predicament. By count out or Not today. Yeah, that's why they call it the champion. Not today, Cactus. Spy uh, Buster. That's how you sweep an okay. Under the that okay, here we go. Come on, Triple H. Oh, the Spanish fan, the Spanish announcer. Take off the shirt. The Spanish announcer. He do. You know what? I'm not Spanish so sure. announce he table. even knows what he's gonna do in there. The Spanish announce table. Come here, cactus. You gotta go through the Spanish announce Look table. Come on, he's bro. going back to an old friend with that one. <laughs> You're right about that. You gotta remember. No! This guy did that move. What a tool. Cole, what's he got in mind? Don't you dare. Cactus. Whatever you're thinking. Don't bring me in the ring, Cactus. Triple H using his speed right there. There we go. Well, we're on the move. Cactus! Oh, you're ready. going to the table! What the fuck? Again, just like that that man. video with the uh, Taker and Sting I did a uh, couple of days ago. The first time ever. Like what the fuck? You're supposed to go through the goddamn table. Did they counter? They they gotta fix that. Like seriously. That's the second time that happened to me. And I feel like I lost the finisher right now. What the? Man. When I say uh, pedigree, it's supposed to happen. Okay. It doesn't get much better than this. What is Cactus thinking now? Oh God, Cactus, please. Not today, man. Not today. Now, you better fucking oh, man, work. I swear really to bad. God. Oh, really bad is oh, look at the game. Uh, pedigree. Uh, <laughs> such a bitch ass game didn't go through the table the first time, motherfucker. Pedigree. You piss. Uh. Damn right, this is awesome. Chant that shit. Look at your bitch ass in the ring, Cactus. It's time to retain up. my World Wrestling Federation Championship. I just love saying that. I love how, like, how they the say it. The World Wrestling Federation. But what is a federation? I heard someone ask that question. I'm like, what is a World Wrestling Federation? There we go. Under the table. We suplex. Oh. There's got to be a power driver in this fucking moveset. That's He's not the move I want to do. Fashion, right here. Suck it, even though DX was... Oh, yeah, the, well, DX was, was alive then. See? Oh, Triple H, Triple H, Triple H. They love me, they love me. They love me. Like Get your bitch ass down. off me. And into a... Uh, what the... Sweep, no. Counter. Is he biting my head? Mike Tyson? What the? He just bit my head. What the? Pa pause? I don't. No way. Get the hell off me. I'm the game. I don't lose to you biting my head off. Only Stephanie bites my head off. Pedigree. Oh, wait, no spike. Spy Spy Buster. Okay. A lot of people must have left this, this video. Y'all might not even watch this shit. Y'all probably saw it like, ooh, flashback some of this. Fuck that shit. Oh, he got my leg. Figure four. Oh, he's wrenching it. And he, t oh, he's twerking it again. Shit. This is a wreck. He's moving like an uncaged animal. No lie. He's yeah, I'm not those fuckers that would be like, you twerking my, you twerking, 
mocking a fucking JBL. I'm, nah, I'm, I'm not really into that. It's just, it's just stupid. Like, no, that, that's a, how they do it. That you know when they mock JBL, and JBL when JBL says that. But like the way, well, why would JBL lower himself from trying to be an entertainer, which he's not? Okay. All the time he's funny is when he was in the APA. That's the only time. Drinking beer, pounding ass and paws and beating up people and that's it. That's J that's all JBO was good for. Farouk had a good catch catchphrase, which is still alive today. Boom! Well and his own theme music that power bump through the table though. His own theme music is is what I'll be damn. Damn damn it. Like it's like bruh. And then when JBL turned to, to JBL, John Bradshaw Layfield's like, what? Pedigree again! Do I have another finisher? Do I have another finisher? No, I don't. Cactus shoots the half. Cactus, it's over. The game is over. Look at this. Is this the box one? No, this is, the, this is actually the perfect one. Uh, look at how they're watching me pedigree! And they're like, oh shit, look at this. This is like a fucking soul. What the fuck? I tried to hit him on my touch hammer. And, he left. and uh, I counted Jawbreaker. If you guys can hear the music, then that's a good thing. Because I don't know why the fuck Sony would do this to me. And it's only one else. I need the music, man, to make it more realistic. Power up to the table of the pedigree. And then it's over. The game retains the title. Look at my beard. Put it on my shoulder. Give my belt, bitch. Uh, I'm the game. Let's hear from my fucking throat. <laughs> yeah, Stephanie, you better be in that tub. I'm coming with the belt, baby. Uh, <laughs> Alright guys, time to take this shit to the extreme. Who remembers One Night Stand 2006, Randy Orton versus Kurt Angle? Well, we're gonna relive that right now. Here we go, New York City. Here comes Randy Orton. Such emotion here. Yeah, this is ECW motherfucker. All right, all right, uh, Orton, this is ECW. Oh, shit. ECW One Night Stand 2006. They didn't do this in real life. I'm just, uh, have a little fun here. No, don't throw them over there. Fuck it, I'm gonna go down here. ECW. E-C-W. E I just seriously advise you guys to watch ECW uh, One Night Stand because that ma what the fuck? But that that the entire show was just awesome. Like the crowd was exactly uh, how people should act in real life, honestly. The fact that the commentators acknowledges the fans chanting whatever they chant. Like, honestly. Like, the entire show was awesome. They did what WWE normally can't do. And in this match, when it was the first match of the second match of the night, after the King and Taz match, which lasted for like 45 seconds. Right? Honestly, uh, this match, I mean, the fans chanted Pussy at Randy Orton. They called it, they said, Fuck you, Orton. They said, Go fuck Cena. You know, like, it, 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 the, the entire show, the entire crowd was just amazing. The crowd was like something you just want to pay attention to more than any other crowd in, in wrestling history. And then they had great matches like Edge and Mick Foley against Tommy Dreamer and uh, and uh, Terry Funk. That match was awesome. And and nice touching with uh, Edge humping that woman 
in front of pinfall that that was fucking hilarious <laughs> that was just funny in my opinion like the way I, he just did it so nonchalant it's like you're being leader and you just drive home the woman are you how do you get away with that how do you get away with that oh angle slam on Kurt angle what the hell is this he just stole my shit the John Cena RVD match was the most infamous uh, match of the night because of the uh, the fans the fans are like same old shit like they, they like some fans today will say same old shit depending on where they are maybe like maybe if it was like Canada or Philly or New York somewhere around those lines they would say same old shit but these guys holy shit they'll make you know you're doing the same old shit like see now when he does the same old shit he does, he's like man nah, they're gonna get over it eventually nah they kept saying same old shit same. and then when Cena does something he does not do like dive off the top rope do like a axe handle double axe handle they'll still they'll be like you still suck you still suck like this this shit was a fault Jeremy Suplex fuck Brock Lesnar to kick out Fuck Suplex City, yo. Kurt Angle was the one with the German Suplex the three times. Shit. There we go. And then, like ECW was exactly what what ECW fans were as the was the internet fans at the same time. Like that match. Holy shit, like they chant everyone hated Edge at the time, right? After what Edge done earlier in the night, they ch they fucking hated Edge, right? And then when he comes and screws John Cena over in that championship match by right, spearing him through his table and RKO out of nowhere. And a rope break, hold that. When he speared Cena through the table, the whole crowd was like, Thank you, Ed. Thank you, Ed. Thank you. It was like, What? You guys hate Cena that much? Holy shit. Like, do you guys hate Cena that bad? You hated the guy that screwed him over, but you will thank him for screwing over John Cena. Okay. Like, these guys, and in this match, they would chant, Go fuck Cena. Go fuck Cena. Like, it was. It was a ruckus crowd that night. I'm never gonna forget watching ECW. <laughs> I mean, both one night stands was awesome. Both of them. Not one was better than the other. No, they're both equally 5.5 rating. Awesome in my opinion because there was flaming tables, there was blood, people going through tables, spears, everything happened. Come on, come on. Oh, shit, he got the yellow ball of life. He might have been losing some of his grip there anyway. He probably figured it would be better to release. I mean, Mysterio and Sabu match. That was That was an awesome match. You know, it had some background with it. And then in the end This is such a painful The match ended with the no contest finish with DDT 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 through the table. Off like the table was between the the barricade and the and the and the apron and Sabu just these teams through the shit and they both got like fucked up. Just look at this. You can see the Get your bitch ass move. up, Randy. All the oh shit! Counter back. He's not gonna do that DDT, right? Yes, he is. Okay. Yeah, this is the opposite of what the fans did at that night. They did not chant RKO. They did not chant for Randy Orton. They chanted against Randy Orton. They chanted him like if he'd done the most biggest wrong. Uh oh. Oh, he beat me. Fuck. Yeah, god damn it. Oh, jeez. They chanted like he did something like he murdered someone or something. <laughs> like, it was that bad. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of flashback Sundays if you guys can hit the like button below also subscribe for more ECW <sighs> I fucked up bad I was trying to be like what Kurt Angle does attack the leg and then you know do the normal routine but Randy Orton wins the whole crowd would have jumped over the barricade and fucked them up 
So like this video, leave a comment, subscribe. This is what I do every Sunday. Uh, all right, guys. Enjoy your holiday. Happy New Year's coming up, and I'm out later.